Good lord. Not even summertime. I'm already sweating like crazy. Hey folks, welcome back to another video. On today's video, I'm just out here today out in the woods, um, out looking for a stealth uh, place to do some stealth camping out down by the river on a place that um, I've never came to on this part of this side of the river. So I'm out here, I've seen some areas throughout the years I wanted to go check out. So I'm out here today checking those out, but that's going to be in a separate video. But th what I thought I'd do is um, kind of go over the contents of my, uh, my Hill People Gear chest rig that I've been using. As you know, I got this for Christmas um, in December of 16 and uh, I've been using this a lot I mean you'll see in my videos I've, I've used it a lot and I really have uh, grown fond of this thing so um, let's take a look at it I'll be right back all right welcome back let's kind of go over the contents here usually at home I have this kind of set up as you know kind of ready to go like I do with most of my most of my kit so right now I have my uh, my knife was in there I just took it off my belt because usually when I get out to the woods I put my knife on my belt so got my knife in here you've seen this in uh, previous videos this was a custom knife made for me several years ago by my buddy uh, Joe Helmick and uh, not making knives anymore but this is kind of my go-to uh, knife got a fire steel on there also I took out um, took out of here and just put in my pack is the um, Israeli T3 trauma dressing. I absolutely love this uh, trauma bandage as you've seen in previous videos. If, uh, if you watched any of my videos, I, I praise the uh, Israeli bandage. I love it and this is the new T3 version and um, it's got some more features in it, a little bit more compact and I really like it so that also stays in there. So let's see, kind of starting in the front here. <clears throat> Just got some uh, alcohol hand sanitizer, and then this is this little first little slip pocket here is kind of like my first aid trauma type items. SWAT T tourniquet, some quick clot uh, back there. And you will hear a uh, you'll hear some maybe a car every once in a while back here. There's a road about 60 yards away from me um, back here out in the woods doing a little. Uh, stealth camping uh, looking around for stealth camp out spots but anyway uh, so that got a whistle <clears throat> over here on the other little slip pocket kind of like my little admin got a little um, right in the rain notebook uh, from going gear got a little pencil I have my compass that's attached so I don't lose it and I have a little measuring tape um, this <laughs> I didn't uh, used to carry a measuring tape but now uh, since I do reviews and stuff it makes it so much easier uh, when you're out in the woods doing reviews or you're out in the woods um, cutting trees down to make uh, shelters and stuff it really this really helps out a lot so kind of a neat little feature it's only a six foot long little measuring tape but hey, it really comes in handy and uh, just a little spoon from the house let's see that's that's all on the, the front there going into the middle compartment that opens up like this. I'll kind of open it up for you. It's got a couple of snacks in here. Um, these little oatmeal, soft bake oatmeal squares are really good. I really like these. A little honey stinger in there. Got a spare battery, a couple of SD cards for the camera. And then uh, in the first little pocket here, a little flagging tape. I did a quick tip video on this before. Got my little SN uh, limited uh, fire kit from my buddy Sean. I got some uh, bank line. Again, did a little clip tip video on that. A little survival kit, again, from uh, my buddy Sean over at SN Limited. And then I just got a the little Bronte BT-01 uh, flashlight attached to here. So I got light in case I need it. And that's, uh, that's generally all. Um, also will keep my little uh, handkerchief in there. A cotton bandana handkerchief. Uh, I've been using it obviously because it's uh, hot out here today already. So and then the last pocket in the very back that everybody likes to see. Uh, I'm back here. I usually carry back here my Glock 19 but today I brought out the big boy. I got out my Glock 20 uh, 10 millimeter out of the out of the safe today. I wanted to carry it around today so uh, I got that. It's got night sights on it. Um, 
uh, lone wolf barrel, uh, stuff like that. So just, yeah, Glock 20, 10 millimeter. In case I uh, run into any uh, any bears, which not likely, <laughs> but anyway. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the kit loadout for the Hill Peeper Gear um, kit bag. This is the original kit bag, and uh, like I said, I, I really like it. I've used it a lot. Um, yeah, I'd make some changes to it if it were me. I know they're out with a version two now that I really like, but um, I like this version, and I'll stick with this version for for a while. But um, anyway. I'm, there's tons of videos out there on this, so if you want specs and all that stuff, I'll leave a link to Hill People Gear down below if you want to check out their specs. But um, on this, I'm not going to do a review on this because, again, there's tons out there. This is just kind of quick loadout. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And um, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Google+, Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter, all that good stuff. And uh, always remember PPE, plan, prepare, and exercise. And always make sure you have the necessary skills to survive. Thanks, folks. Have a great day.